Welcome back to our Python weekly lectures. Normally we talk about our next homework project at the end of the week, but this week we will do it a little bit different. As we begin to experiment with the Python data types in our next few videos, I recommend that you start using your own computer to try as many as possible of the coding examples from our presentations. Additionally, watch again the MIT lecture video from the previous homework and continue reading tutorials also discussed last week in the previous assignment. You can simply copy and paste code to begin using it, but then try tweaking the code, change it to see the differences and do it in a way that helps your own understanding of the topics that we're working on this week. When you're learning programming, it's a trial and error process. And uh, here comes the important part for this week's homework. I want you to keep the log of every error that you get while working on your own coding examples. I created a template file named homeworkproject1.py and it looks like a form that you need to fill out and submit. Here you can write in the required parts and submit 10 or more coding fragments which contain the code that made your Python program crash or run incorrectly. As you can see in this sort of a template file, I'm asking you to copy and paste your code that causes an error and then copy and paste your error message. Also, you need to briefly explain how you fixed it. Also, add the updated fragment of the code with the error fixed. By the way, if you search the internet for a possible solution and you find the useful info regarding the issue, or if you're discovering something significant trying to resolve it, uh, you're welcome to write it down as well. At the same time, any extensive writing is optional. Generally, just a couple of lines of code and one line explaining what the issue was is sufficient. Also note that this particular file would be very difficult to actually run as a program because of so many syntax error in it. Therefore, you should use it only as a journal of errors. To test your code, use your own Python source files instead and leave homework project 1.py only to store an error report with your instructions on how to fix it. I hope you have some fun working on this assignment and enjoying watching the lecture videos.